Hi! In this video, I will show you how to increase the output current of a DC to DC buck converter that can drive any desired high current load. Here you can see the complete circuit that I have designed. First, it consists of a DC to DC buck converter connected to two IRFP740 power MOSFETs. They are connected through a 1 kilo ohm resistor and also a 0.22 nanofarad capacitor is attached near the load. The input is applied between the orange wire and the black wire while the output is taken between the red wire and the black wire. All these components are mounted to a heat sink for heat dissipation. Now, let's see the components you will require to design this circuit. A heat sink with at least three holes. A DC to DC buck converter module. A 220 nanofarad capacitor. A quarter watt 1 kilo ohm resistor. A pair of IRFP 740 power MOSFETs. And some screws for mounting purpose. Now, first take the heatsink and fix both the IRFP740 power MOSFETs onto it with the screws. Make sure to tighten the screws properly using a screwdriver otherwise the power MOSFETs will heat up and get fried soon. Next, fix a double tape on one side of the heatsink as shown and place the DC to DC buck converter module on the double tape so it may not move. Take the 1 kilo ohm resistor and sold it between the output of DC to DC buck converter and the gate pin of power MOSFET. Use a connecting wire to join the gate pins of power MOSFETs together as shown. Easy right? Also, since the drain pins of the power MOSFETs need to be connected with each other, the heatsink has already solved this problem for us and we can make sure of it by checking it using a multimeter. Awesome! After that, we need to use a wire to join the drain pins of our power MOSFETs with the positive input terminal of power source. This will be the path of high current for our load. Next, solder a wire with the input terminal of the DC to DC buck converter for input connection point. Use another small wire to join the source pins of power MOSFETs with each other. In this way we have successfully connected the two power MOSFETs in parallel. Now solder a wire at the source pin of power MOSFET for output connection point. Next, we need to solder the 220 nanofarad capacitor between the output positive and negative terminal points as shown next. Remember, this is a parallel connection of capacitor with the output terminals. Finally, let's use a pair of thick wire with crocodile connectors for input and output connections. First we will check the output voltage of this circuit using a multimeter.
After turning on the power source and multimeter we are going to increase the output voltage of this circuit using the potentiometer of DC to DC buck converter module and make sure that this circuit is working properly. Here, I am using a 24 volt 20 ampere power source, but you can see that this circuit is dropping almost 4 volts across its components so make sure to use the right power source to get the desired output voltage and current. Now I will set the output voltage of this circuit to 12.2 volts so we can check this circuit using a high power load. Let's disconnect this multimeter now and attach our load to make sure that this circuit is providing us the desired current for our load. As an example, I will be using this 12 volt 50 watts bulb to test this circuit. And as you can see the circuit is driving this load and the bulb is glowing at its full intensity. If you have enjoyed and learned from this tutorial then do subscribe my YouTube channel and press the like button and bell icon so you may get updates whenever I upload a new video. See you later!